What goes up must come down. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be exploring everything you should know about Bioshock Infinite. Developed by Irrational Games and published by 2K, this is the third entry in the critically acclaimed series. Not a direct sequel or prequel to the previous installments, Infinite instead takes the franchise to an entirely new location, complete with a new cast of characters. Set in 1912, players assume the role of Booker DeWitt, a disgraced former agent of the Pinkerton National Detective Agency. Given a final chance to clear his name, he accepts the task of locating and freeing a woman named Elizabeth, who is being held captive in the airborne city of Columbia. Upon Booker's arrival, players discover that Columbia is a technologically advanced world suspended in the air by blimps and balloons, which has been disavowed by the American government. Despite the wonder and the beauty, Columbia has become a boiling pot of propaganda, ultranationalist sentiment, and the belief in American exceptionalism. Upon finding Elizabeth, players soon discover that she has incredible powers and is of central importance to the city's two warring factions. These include the Founders, led by Zachary Comstock, and the ragtag resistance group called the Vox Populi, led by Daisy Fitzroy. As if this wasn't bad enough, Elizabeth is also pursued by a hulking mechanical beast called the Songbird. Unlike the already crumbling undersea world of Rapture, Columbia unravels throughout your stay and features wide open outdoor spaces. Players will explore its skyline transport system, amusement park, lower class slum, factory and shipping complex, luxury digs, and historical landmarks. With a wide range of environments to explore, Infinite challenges players to adapt different strategies and weapons for each situation they come across. In combat, you not only sport a large variety of weapons and gear, but psychokinetic powers granted by potions called Vigors. Somewhat similar to Bioshock's plasmids, these potions are ingested rather than injected and will present physical side effects. Vigors include the ability to push and levitate objects, fire explosive blasts, control machines, summon a murder of crows, stun foes, charge at great speeds, and manipulate water. Eventually, players will get assistance in combat from Elizabeth, who sports her own set of superpowers. Aside from the use of these powers, it wouldn't be a Bioshock game without a frightening array of enemies. These include four adversary types created by the founders called the Heavy Hitters. The Heavy Hitters include the Handymen, mechanical monsters with human hearts and heads that can jump long distances, the blind Boys of Silence that wear metal ears to sonically locate you, a ghostly siren that revives defeated foes, and finally, the motorized Patriots. Sporting macabre masks of George Washington's face, Patriots were once the city's tour guides, but now carry pepper mill machine guns to gun down resistance. Like early installments of the franchise, locating and playing audio logs, film projectors, and kinetoscopes will uncover Columbia's backstory. Meanwhile, morality decisions will have a noticeable impact on the narrative as you advance. Hey! It's just a postman, he didn't hurt anybody. It's the wind! Finally, for those hoping for a relentless challenge, Infinite sports an all-new 1999 mode. A reference to the year System Shock 2 was released, it makes specific player attributes and selections permanent, causing the potential for unwinnable scenarios to unfold. The highly anticipated installment in the Bioshock series, Infinite promises to dazzle gamers all over again with incredible visuals, addictive gameplay, a deep storyline, and an imaginative world. This wondrous steampunk adventure is only available for the PC, PS3, and Xbox 360. For more informative game previews, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Ah! Ah!